First, the world of reality TV is a strange one, and in one of its more unusual corners, you'll find a show called Naked and Afraid. It features contestants who are indeed naked and who live for three weeks in the wild with a naked partner, but no outside help. Cheney Plant of Sanford competed on the show a few years ago. Now she's back in a spin-off called Naked and Afraid Solo. And as the name suggests, in this show, contestants are on their own. Cheney Plant, who lives in Sanford and taught survival skills when she was in the Air Force, is someone who likes to push herself. And she had no reservations about tackling a Naked and Afraid challenge a second time. It's weird, like, you miss it. I remember like on my first one, I could not wait for day 21. I was like running to the extraction vehicle. I just wanted to get out of there. And I was like, I'm never doing that again. That was ugh, miserable. Split him up into pieces. It's like the lobster of Africa. But it's weird, like after like a week or two, you get back into like normal society and you, there's like, you miss being out there. Like you get really sad. Like you're taken, like something was taken away from you and you want it back. Is it just that when you were doing that, life seemed more more vivid, more high stakes, maybe? Life was just, it was more simple because there's no technology, there's no lights, there's no like bad news. You're living like 100% with nature, like you're connected to the earth. It's hard to put into words, but it's really powerful and you miss it. What was the experience like this second time around? I mean, I thought I knew what I was made of after the first one, after the second one, like it was a real test. Was it more? challenging than the first one? It was very challenging. It was really hard. The location was really unforgiving. It was, it was brutal. Like I had to really dig deep every day. On Naked and Afraid Solo, the participants are left in an isolated place with no clothing. It is so cold. Oh, so cold. And no partner. This is no joke. <sighs> they have to find food, water, and shelter. They're out there alone for 21 days. The hardest thing for me was the extreme temperatures. It was brutal <laughs> and it wasn't hot. I'll just say that it was brutal. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, um, but I think being from Maine helped me with that. What do you tell yourself? What, do you, what, what's the, what does the voice in your head tell you when you're going through something that's so difficult like that? The harder it is, the sweeter the ending, like the better the reward. It's like anything, like anything worth having is worth struggling for. When it takes days for you to find food and you finally catch something, like that is the best feeling in the world. Is doing this fun? You've done it now twice. Is it fun? It's fun in a weird, like twisted way. <laughs> it's um how so it's like in the moment it's not fun like the first day I was out there I remember thinking like oh god what did you agree to and then afterwards looking back I'm, and like looking at my highs and my lows out there I was like that was the best experience of my life did this recent experience solo did it change you it changed me pretty profoundly I think um like nothing really bothers me anymore. And then it really made me just appreciate everything. Like in the middle of the night when I, all I wanted was just a blanket or a sheet or like an old, I'd even taken like an old burlap sack if I could find it. Just the little things in life that we take for granted. Like when you're out there, you really realize like I have nothing. Like I would just love a little pinch of salt. That's not gonna happen. You just have to learn to deal. When you did the show the first time, you had a partner in survival. This time, the whole idea is it's solo. Was it hard to handle the solitude? The solitude at night was the worst part because it's hard to sleep because, I mean, I did the best I could to make a, something nice to sleep on, but you're still, you're up. You got to stoke the fire. You got to pee. Um, you just don't get a full night's sleep out there, and it's, it's lonely. We're social creatures. I don't want to be alone anymore. The experiences that you've been through have been pretty intense, and you say that they have changed you. How do you want to lead your life differently now as a result of what you've done on that show? Now, I just want to live 
just a more simple life and like a harder life because I feel like we're very pampered nowadays. Like you don't even have to leave your house. Like you have Amazon, you have DoorDash and it's like, well, I want a, I want a wood stove and I want to chop wood all summer and I want to grow my own food and I want to can it and preserve it and I want to hunt all my own meat and dry it and freeze dry it or whatever and I want to keep having struggle every day because it's important because if you don't struggle, you get soft and that's not good for anybody. Well, here we uh, are in our warm, well-lit studio, feeling pretty soft right about now. I was just going to say that. I am blown away by her experiences and just what she took away from being out there all by herself. Yeah, and there's a lot that she couldn't talk about because the show hasn't aired yet. Right. So, for right. instance, where was she for the filming of this time, uh, of this, this go-round? And she couldn't talk about that. She, she told me what continent she was on, although she asked me not to reveal that, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Wouldn't, couldn't talk about you know, what country and so forth. So there's a wow. lot that'll be revealed yeah. in the series that we couldn't get to, but you get the sense of what the experience was like for her. I mean, it clearly had a huge impact on her. And when she said anything worth having is worth struggling for. And yeah. now to see how she wants to live her life moving forward, it's, yeah. it's amazing. All right, so you wanna see how it all worked out? The first episode of Naked and Afraid Solo airs Sunday at 10 p.m. on Discovery Channel. Cheney Plant will be featured in several of the show's episodes as the season unfolds. I can't wait to see it. It should be pretty good. Yeah.